Ah, good evening, and welcome to the Raven House of Mysterious Happenings. <laughs> As we are approaching the Halloween season, I thought it would be good to do another review of a short story collection in the vein of the supernatural detective. However, I seem to have misplaced the book at the moment, so I might have to go looking for it in some of the more remote areas of the estate. So, I shall return shortly. Lynn Carter's Anton Zarnak, Supernatural Sleuth. Now, this book is a collection of short stories which feature uh, Dr. Anton Zarnak, a character that was created by Lynn Carter in a couple of stories, and uh, some other writers um, came along and did additional adventures with him. So this book kind of has all the stories of Anton Zarnak in it. Uh, Lynn Carter's origin for him was kind of interesting. Uh, Dr. Zarnak was kind of an anthropologist and archaeologist, and his wife and son were tragically killed by a werewolf. So after that, Dr. Zarnak uh, took it upon himself to study the supernatural and ways to battle them. Uh, the story that introduced Dr. Zarnak was uh, called The Curse of the Black Pharaoh. This was the first story that Lynn Carter wrote, and it actually was my favorite story of the collection. Uh, it had a good uh, origin, and it was a good story about where Dr. Zarnak had to deal with a uh, mummy that came to life in the British Museum. The story had a very kind of hammer horror film feel to it, so it was a it was a good story to read. It was a lot of fun. Uh, the other stories include uh, a wandering blackness, uh, the uh, to cast out fear, where uh, Dr. Zarnak teams with Inspector Lagrassi who's a character from the H.P. Lovecraft story, The Call of Cthulhu, and also a story called Dope War of the Black Tong, where Dr. Zarnak is teamed with Steve Harrison, who was a character created by Robert Howard initially. A lot of the writers like to kind of put Dr. Zarnak with other characters, and they made for good stories. They were a lot of fun. Not to be taken too seriously, but, you know, they were very much done in the pulp feel to them, and they're just, they're just really great stories, fun to read, great for the Halloween season, but at any time. So it's a great book uh, and a great collection of stories. So I hope you uh, get a chance to uh, read them. Well, that's about it. Thank you, as always, for listening.